I finally purchased some crash bars for the KLR650, which I'm not too worried about cracking the plastic, which I already did a few weeks back. But the main reason for these crash bars was to protect the radiator. And you can see it right behind the fairing here. It's on the left side of the bike. And it is definitely exposed to the elements if it goes down on the left side. So I went ahead and ordered some crash bars. Just some cheapos off Amazon, which, you know, I had mixed feelings about, but I did not want to spend, you know, 300 bucks on these. So let's go ahead and throw these on. All right, here we go. Crash bars, engine guard. The instructions, bolts and whatnot. They look all right. The welds aren't the cleanest. I'm gonna take a look at the instructions, see what kind of tools we need, and throw these on the bike. So after looking at the instructions, what we're going to have to do is take these bolts out as well as take the gas tank off just because this last connection point here is under the gas tank. I'm going to go ahead and take off all these plastics, the seat, and get the tank off. Alright, got the plastic off. If you're wondering, those nuts are 8 millimeter. And then these ones for the seat are 10 millimeter. Whoa. All right, now we have to get these two bolts loose. They're holding the gas tank down. Now, can we get this high enough without... You know what? We're going to have to unbolt these two bolts. These plastics. These are connected to the gas tank. And then on the bottom here, there's just little plugs. So you'll be fine just pulling that back. And then there's not going to be anything connected to the tank. Alright, so the ones on the tank fairing, they're a little bit longer than the ones for these rear plastics. We're going to keep this separate over here. Now that we have all of these bolts disconnected, we're good to lift the gas tank. I'm not sure why the instructions want me to disconnect the fuel lines and do all that when we just need to, to get to this, this bolt right here. What I think I'm gonna try is just lifting the tank up and wedging something under there to give me a little bit more clearance on the sides. So I just have this socket wedged between the frame and the gas gas tank and that's gonna give me plenty of room now we gotta get these two bolts off holding the the skid plate in place I know this extension is a little bit excessive but this is what I could find I don't feel like spending another half hour looking for a smaller one so go ahead and take these off oh come on Other side spinning. Alright, that should be loose enough to just get it off of my hand. There's one. There's two. These are gonna have to come out. 
I'll move up here to the back of the gas tank and get left and right side. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's one. Go to the other side, get the other one out. Okay, so we need to put these spacers right there. There goes one. Kind of self-explanatory. This is what came out. This is the same size. It's going to go in. Let's go ahead and grab this guard. Match it up with the bottom. Now the the frame did drop a little bit, so we're going to have to wiggle this. Now before I put that in, I'm going to put some Loctite on here. Don't want to forget to do that. I use this red gel. Let's get some of this on here. Okay. Good lord. I need two hands for this. Yeah, I finally got that damn bolt to catch. Lightly tighten that for now. So, if you're doing this, do not unbolt both sides of that frame because it's going to drop and you're going to have one hell of a time trying to find it again. So, just unbolt one side at a time. All that's left is running these through both crash bars and the mainframe. But for some freaking reason, they want you to go put these through crash bar, space bar, frame, space bar, crash bar, nut. So this might take a minute. We'll see how this goes. To get some assistance on this one. This is just a pain in the ass trying to get these spacers in between the frame and the crash bars, but we almost got it. Okay. We have the bolts through. We gotta put a washer and the nuts on. And of course, a little bit of Loctite. On the S. Okay. All right, we finally got <clears throat> those two bolts through, screwed in. Now we got to get an Allen wrench and connect left and right engine guard around the frame here. It's gonna be a size five. Well, these Allens are an absolute pain in the ass. There's no really good way to go at it. You can't turn this way. You got the guard in the way. So really your only option is to do about a if you're lucky about a quarter turn catch it there we go not even a quarter turn an eighth of a turn uh, we'll get it in there all right finally got those on go ahead and give these one more turn get all the plastics on and we'll see how this looks if you go ahead and clean the filter since I have everything out of the way all right I finally have the bike back together the crash bars are on I like them it's a fairly clean look on the bike these were only hundred twenty dollars plus shipping and it looks like they're gonna do a decent job protecting the radiator on the left side that was about a two-hour install if you can have help doing this, I recommend it. And you have to have a lot of patience, that's for sure.
enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.